welcome back to my channel it's Peyton and today I'm back with a really highly requested video as you all have read by the title this, this is going to be all the information and all your frequently asked questions answered in this video okay so I'm going to be telling you guys all about my chains where I got them from what kind of chains they are how much they were and also about my rings and this is just because people are literally always asking me about this stuff and I'm just like you know what let me just make a video because I keep telling a bunch of people the same thing so in order for me to get my coins off these things that I spend my own money on I'm gonna make this video I don't want y'all to think I really get annoyed with answering you guys questions because I don't it's kind of just like me giving people free promo but when I make my videos and send y'all my videos when y'all ask me questions it's because I'm trying to make money off something that I'm not making money off of if you guys you know got into YouTube and got into sponsorships and working with different companies and stuff like that you'd understand you don't want to just go and have free promo making other companies money when they're not sponsoring you or paying you for that I don't know I hope I don't sound selfish or anything but hopefully y'all understand but anyway let's hop right into it this video is not going to be too long I just want to tell you guys where I got them from how much they were and the specifics about them y'all so let's get started these are my chains okay so before I got these three chains over about uh, I want to say two almost almost two years ago I got these chains and I literally never take them off <laughs> and I shower with them sleep in them everything because they're real and I invested money into them so that they would last me a long time I used to get really cheap chains and they would break and they would turn and all kind of stuff like that and then I just decided to invest in some chains that's gonna last me a while I didn't spend that much money this gold is honestly pretty cheap but for the most part I think it was worth it because I've already had them for a really long time and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have them for uh, a while I'll just start from the top and go to the bottom I have this rope chain I believe that I got the links 14 16 18 I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what I got I wanted it to stop right before like my breast area I believe that this chain was 14 inches and I cut it down to 12 inches because uh, the P was overlapping with the Africa pendant uh, for this rope chain I think it was 12 or 14 inches it was like hundred dollars really cheap hasn't turned or anything hasn't broken and I also had this rope chain longer than I've had these two chains because I used to have different chains but then I switched it up because I wanted this look and then the P pendant was about hundred dollars then I got this curb chain this is like a Cuban curb chain um I don't think this is specifically Cuban y'all are probably like what but I know this is definitely a curb chain and I got this chain because it's supposed to be like one of the strongest chains and I really don't know the diameter of my chains I honestly just looked at it and I said okay I want that size right there like that's cute to me this curb chain um 16 inches was about $200 it wasn't exactly $200 that's why I keep saying like about because I don't really remember how much I paid for each chain um, I just know I didn't pay no more than the price that I'm giving you guys and then the Africa pendant was a hundred dollars so you can basically say this chain was about anywhere from 250 to 300 dollars and the price may have changed because the price of gold changes all the time and then the last chain that i got was this 18 inch curb chain so these two chains are the same and this one is just a rope chain so it's different this one was also about like 200 dollars. so these two chains were honestly not that different in price range but this one was cheaper these two chains were more expensive because they were thicker if that makes sense and then this pendant was also almost hundred dollars so if you wanted to total up how much I pay for all my chains you can go ahead and say it was like eight hundred dollars I think it was like seven hundred to eight hundred dollars I like I just really don't specifically remember so but that's what I had to say about my chains and now the question that you all have been waiting for is where did I get my chains where did I get my jewelry <laughs> I'm gonna go back into my rings after I answer. So I got my chains and my jewelry from Slauson Super Mall. Most people from LA call it the Slauson Swap Meet, the Slauson, whatever you wanna call it. If you're not from LA, you're probably like, what is she even talking about? Um, the Slauson Super Mall, they have like a bunch of different things. You know, I'm pretty sure no matter in what state you are, I don't, I don't really know. I'm sure there's swap meets like everywhere. If not, I'm sorry. If you don't have a swap meet wherever you live, whatever city or town you're from, I would just recommend going to a personal jeweler. Now it's probably gonna be more expensive because the point of a swap meet is to get things cheaper than their regular price. And the Slauson, I've heard that their jewelry is like not as good. That's what my parents have told me, like, not to buy jewelry from there. But your girl is trying to be a baddie on the budget, okay? But yeah, I know y'all are probably like, girl, $700 is a lot. 
sorry if you think that's a lot but that's cheap for gold like gold is expensive if that makes sense you get silver you can get gold you can get whatever you want to get i just wanted to tell y'all where i got them from how much it was da 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 da, da. and then to show y'all my rings this is like i feel like almost every black girl that i know has this the initial ring and i think this one was like i think i paid like 70 or 80 dollars for this then I have my gold nugget ring. I think I also pay like 70 or 80. I got these two rings together. And when you buy like things in bulk, they can give you deals and stuff like that. I think I paid a little under 150 for these two rings. And then I got this last supper ring. I'm kind of tired of this ring, so I might trade it in. But I got this ring by itself, so it was like 110 for it. I just remember because I recently got this. Yeah, that's it for my rings. I feel like regardless of wherever you go and whatever jewelry you get you just need to put your own spice to it okay like y'all don't need to go and get the same exact thing as me changing your initial not saying you can't do it but be creative you know you don't want to look like the next person put your own creative spirit into it because i literally did not know what to do when i went to go get jewelry and i was just like i love this and people come with my chains all the time I mean, if you're wondering what kind of chains or pendants to get uh, get whatever is best for you get whatever is in your tax bracket okay that's it for my chains if y'all have any other questions feel free to comment down below and i will answer them to the best of my ability i apologize in advance that i don't know the specific prices and links of my chains but i know the main reason y'all are watching this video is to know where i get them sorry if you don't have a swap meet near you go to a personal jeweler i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please feel free to give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you guys comment down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye